Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason you keep seeing a pop-up that says Google Play services stopped, Google Play services have failed. It's really a ton of different pop-ups like that. Now there's several different ways to go ahead and fix this and they're all pretty easy. The very first thing I would recommend looking at is to actually make your way over to your settings app like this. You want to go into applications right here and you want to pretty much see all your applications. Now you want to scroll down until you specifically see either Play services or Google Play services. Now most of the time it's going to be Google Play services. So what you want to do at this point, you want to go ahead and open up this bad boy. And what you're going to do here <laughs> is you want to go ahead and see that little four stop option right there. And you want to go ahead and click on four stop. And you want to go and click on four stop again. And what you're going to see is it's probably going to end up four stopping it. As you can see, sometimes maybe it takes twice. Maybe that's the way new Android 12 looks. And what's going to happen here is that Google Play services will not be force stopped. So what you can do now is go ahead and make your way back over to wherever else you were going. Maybe it was a game or something and see if that actually ended up fixing it. A majority of the times, all it takes is you just to force stop the application and then it'll pretty much fix itself. It's not a guarantee, but that is pretty much the main thing I'd recommend looking at. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is actually making your way over to your Google Play Store. So once you make your way over to your Play Store, what you want to do is you want to get into your application panel. So you want to click either on apps or whatever, or you can click on your name up here, which is probably the better way to do it. And then you want to go ahead and find your apps. So you want to click manage apps and device. Then you want to click manage right here. And then you're going to see all your apps that you have that's installed on your phone. Now, what you probably want to do is you want to go ahead and install the updates for all of these devices that you have enabled or the, all these apps. So you can see there's a ton of them. There's carrier services. There's a lot of different Google Play services that can be installed that probably need an update. So your best bet is to go ahead and literally just install an update for all of these specific applications. And there may be little updates and supplemental updates for your specific Play services. And you just want to go ahead and let them install and see what happens after that. Most probably your phone will probably end up fixing itself and that probably end up fixing the problem. If your phone is still experiencing issues, I would probably recommend you contacting Google and having them take a look at your phone and seeing if there's any other issues that are probably going on. Maybe it's beyond their, you know, just a simple of software update. So that's pretty much it. Those are the main ways to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.